In this video, I will show you how to find the perimeter and area of a variety of random shapes such as these, including some that have curved lines. So let's start with problem number one. The perimeter is simply the sum of all of the sides. So I need to find uh, all of the side lengths and add them up. So um, let's just make a little list. Let's start with the top um, segment DE. I c this is horizontal, so I can just count. And so this is four and three, so that's going to be seven. OK. Um, and then I'm going to move on to EF. All right, uh, now EF, I have to make a, a teeny tiny right triangle out of this. So if I make a little right triangle right here, I see that the horizontal is one and the vertical is two. So um, if I do the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse will be EF. So that's gonna be the square root of one squared plus two squared so that's 4 and 1, so that's 5. So that is the square root of 5. Next, I want to find the length of FG. OK, so again, I will make a right triangle out of it. The horizontal is 2, the vertical is 4. So that means that the hypotenuse will be the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. That's 16 plus 4, that's 20. So the square root of 20. All right, now let's move on. Um, HG is a horizontal line. So I can just count. Um, that's 4 and 1, that's 5. So that's simply 5. Now, dh, again, I will make one more right triangle to find the length of dh. The horizontal is 3. The vertical is 6. Okay, so dh is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared. So that's 45, so this is going to be the square root of 45. OK, so the perimeter will be the sum of all of these. So I guess I'll just put the perimeter up here next to where it says perimeter. But uh, what I need to do is I need to do 7 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 20 plus 5 uh, plus the square root of 45. So that's the exact perimeter, but let's go decimal. 25.42. OK, now they didn't give me units like centimeters or anything, so I'll just put U for units. OK, um, so now I'm going to switch over and start finding the area. So um, for area, what you want to do is um, divide the shape into sections that you are able to calculate the area for. So I, I like to stick to vertical and horizontal lines as I break this up. So for example, if I put a vertical line right here, now, if I put another vertical line right here, OK? Now, I've just created um, four little zones just now. OK, I might have to make this a little bit smaller. So I've got a zone right here. OK, that's one zone. Um, I've got another zone right here. I've got another zone, a little teeny tiny zone right here in green. 
And I've got one more zone right here. So I have four little zones. So I'm going to find the area of each one of those regions, and then I will add those up. So that's my strategy. Okay, so um, I'm going to consider this to be zone one and zone two. And this little guy right here will be zone three. And this will be zone four. Okay, that's the way I'm going to assign it. So let's go ahead and find area number one. Okay, area one, this is a triangle. So that's one half base times height. Okay, the base is three and the height is six. So one half, three times six. Half of six is three, three times three is nine. So this is gonna turn out to be nine. All right, what about area two? Area two is a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is just base times height. Okay, so that's just going to be 3 uh, times 6. So that's going to be 18. Let's move on to area 3. Area 3 is another triangle. Okay, so that's going to be 1 half base times height. The base is 1, the height is 2. So 1 half 1 times 2. Okay, so that's just going to be 1. And finally, let's find area number four, another triangle. So again, one half base times height. The base is two, the height is four. So that is going to be four. Okay, um, so the full area, I just need to add all these up. So that is 32. So I'm going to put 32 units squared. We're basically going to do the same thing again for this quadrilateral. Let's start with the perimeter. Let's start with length RS. Um, that's horizontal, so I can just simply count. So that's 5. So RS is 5. Now let's do ST. OK, for ST, I need to make a right triangle out of it. So the horizontal is 2. The vertical is 3. So the hypotenuse would be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. Um, that's 9 plus 4, so that's 13. So this is going to be the square root of 13. All right, so let's move on. Now let's talk about TU. Let's make a little right triangle out of that. Um, okay, so TU. Uh, horizontal is 2, and the vertical is 2. So this is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. That's 4 plus 4, so it's the square root of 8. Let's move on to RU. All right, make a right triangle out of it. Horizontally, this is 5. And vertically, this is also 5. So the hypotenuse should be the square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared. That's 25 plus 25, so that's 50. All right, so that's everything. So I'm going to add all the, these up, and that should be the perimeter. All right, so 5 plus the square root of 13 plus the square root of 8 plus the square root of 50. That's 
units. All right, now let's talk about area. Area is the one where we will break this up into shapes that we can find the area of. So uh, try to stick to vertical lines and horizontal lines when you split up your shapes. So a single vertical line will separate this into shape one and shape two. These are both triangles. So um, let's find area one. This triangle, uh, let's see, the base is five. Okay, the formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So the base is five and the height is also five. Okay, that's gonna be 12.5. All right, I mean, you can put the stuff in your calculator as needed. So one half five times five, 12.5. Okay, uh, now let's go area two, which is another triangle, one half base times height. Um, now, let me let's get this out of the way for a second. You can pick the base to be anything you want. I'm going to use this vertical line as the base. So that's uh, 5. The height then has to be perpendicular to that. So base 5, the height is 2. Uh, so that's just going to be 5 because the 1 half and the 2 cancel each other out. If I add these up, that, that'll be the area. 12.5 plus 5. That's 17.5 uh, units squared. All right, let's do this one more time. So the perimeter, we're going to find the lengths of each of these um, pieces. So let's start with the length of KL. Uh, make a right triangle out of it and do the Pythagorean theorem. So horizontally, this is six. Vertically, it's three. So that means that KL is gonna be the square root of six squared plus three squared. Which is 45. So this is gonna be the square root of 45. Okay, the next little portion as we move around is going to be segment LM, all right, just from here to here. Uh, that's a vertical line, so I can just count that up. So LM is going to equal 4. Okay, now the next little portion around is this arc. All right, the arc that goes from M to N like this. Arc MN. Okay, I want the length of that. So um, what I have to do is realize that this is a, a semicircle. That's half of a circle. So um, the perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. So um, the formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius, OK? Um, so in this case, that would be 2 pi times. Now the radius, like this would be the center of the circle, and the radius would be right here. Um, so the radius is 3. So this would be 2 pi times 3. Okay, but this would be for a whole circle, all right? The, uh, the length of the entire edge of an entire circle. Uh, but in the picture that I've got, it's only half of a circle. So I don't want to just do 2 pi r. I need to do half of that. I need, I need to do half of 2 pi r. Okay, now I've got a semicircle. 
So um, that's just going to be 3 pi. I can see that the 1 half and the 2 are going to cancel each other out, leaving the pi and the 3, or 3 pi. If you put this in your calculator, you will also get 3 pi. So that's it for that portion of the graph. Okay, next I'm looking at this portion of the graph that goes from um, n to k. Okay, so n k. This is vertical, so I can just count. So that's 5 and 2, so that's 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and that's it. So we found all four parts of the perimeter. Now I just need to add them up. So I'm going to go uh, the square root of 45 plus 4 plus 3 pi plus 7. 27.13. units. All right, now let's turn around and do area. Again, to find the area of a complex shape, you want to divide the shape up into triangles and rectangles and circles. And you really want to stick with horizontal or vertical lines. In this case, horizontal lines will get the job done because that's going to cre create um, shape number one, shape number two, and shape number three, a triangle, a rectangle, and a semicircle. So let's find the areas of each one of these shapes so we can add them up. So area number one is a triangle. Uh, the formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, the base could be this red line, so that's six. The height is 3. So that is going to be 9. All right, how about the area uh, of the rectangle, area 2? Well, that's just base times height. So that's going to be 6 times 4. OK, so, so that will be 24. And finally, let's talk about area 3. Now, again, area 3 is half of a circle. It's a semicircle. So um, the formula for the area of a circle, all right, area of a circle is pi r squared. Uh, and again, the radius is 3. So um, that's going to make this pi times 3 squared, which would be 9 pi. Okay, but that would be the area of a full circle, okay, would be 9 pi. This is not a full circle, this is half of a circle. So area 3 is going to be half of 9 pi, all right, half the area of a full circle. Um, so I could turn this into a decimal right now, or because because I know that nine is not evenly divisible by two, so I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Um, I I don't like to round until the last step if I can avoid it. So I I need to add up these three areas. So here's what I could simply do. I can do nine plus twenty four plus, and I'll just type this in um, one half. 9 pi. Okay, I can just add it all up just like this. Boom. So that's 47.14. And this is area, so I need to do units squared. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.